everybody. I'm doing a 15 minute session for a client. I'm going to be sharing psychic wisdom and energy healing. We're going to be channeling their higher self. We're going to be exploring purpose and the question of why am I on earth? <laughs> so I'm really excited to do this for you. I want to thank you so much for the opportunity. If any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, I'm going to read your goals and we're going to get started. So you say, hi, Abby, I'm going through a hard time. I just want to know why am I on earth? Am I my purpose or... Am I preparing for a new calling or what is going on? <laughs> I would appreciate some clarity from my higher self. Thank you. So, I just want to know why am I on earth? Why am I on earth? Okay. Why on earth am I on earth? <laughs> That's like in my head. I'm like, okay, I'm reading this and it's like, why am on earth am I on earth? Okay. And am I my purpose? Am I my purpose? Okay, so am I preparing for a new calling or what is going on? <laughs> I really like the way you wrote that. Okay, I guarantee there's a lot of people who can really relate to you. We're going to find out why on earth are you on earth. <laughs> okay, let's find out. See what your higher self has to say about this. Hmm. Are you your purpose, though? Like, right now, are you your purpose? So, are you a representation of your purpose? And purpose usually is an action, like I'm involved in accomplishing a task, a task that my heart is in that task, and then that task is presented, like my that task makes a difference. Um, so, if you're not involved in a task, then the question is just existing. If you are just existing, are you your purpose? If you are just existing. So usually purpose is more than just an existence, right? It's understanding how your existence matters. Okay. So why are you on earth? You exist on earth. Then we are looking for why your existence matters here on earth. Because you're on earth for a reason, right? And so is there some kind of calling coming for you? Okay. I'm getting this, I'm like organizing these thoughts in this way, so I feel like your higher self is helping me to translate this message, okay. Why is it, why do we have to keep going over these questions? Like, I'm talking to your higher self, like, why, it keeps echoing in my head, why am I, why on earth am I in, on earth? Like, that echoes in my head. And then, am I my purpose? That echoes in my head. And then I have all these strange questions like, well, what does it mean to be your purpose? Is existing your purpose? And then, it, what is the purpose of my existence? And it's like, so you must have a lot going on in your head as well, trying to figure this out, you know? And you're in the way of your higher self, by the way. Because I'm, I want to go to your higher self, but then all these thoughts get in the way. You must be very frustrated too because, and when the thoughts get in the way, it's because we're emotionally connected to them and that emotional connection with our thoughts is more important than anything else, you know? Because if we're more emotionally connected to our thoughts, then perhaps the emotional energy we're putting in to them um, will bring a solution, will bring an answer, will bring clarity, but actually it's just blocking. It's blocking the clarity, okay? I want to know, I asked your higher self, I'm, I'm moving past this. I, I'm going to do this just my own way then for you. It seems like because I'm connected to your goals and your goals are then blocking your higher self. Like, um, I'm going to have to disconnect from that energy and then... <laughs> I, this is so way too complicated. <laughs> you must be making things way more complicated than they really are. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm going to channel your higher self and I'm going to ask the question 
reveal to us why on earth are you on earth? <laughs> okay, let's see. This is coming from a place from your higher self, not from a place from you, okay? For some reason, I am supposed to distinguish that because I'm having to leave you to go to your higher self so we can have this conversation because I can't have it through you because there's too much emotion and too much sound there. And that's fine. I mean, we go through these processes. We get louder, you know. I'm in a tree. I'm, a, I'm in a tree, really thick branches. I mean, I'm at the top of a humongous tree with really thick branches. And your higher self is odd. It's like um, there's a female emanation and she's both a woman and a bird, but she's not exactly a bird. There's something spikier about her feathers, like more dragon-like, but she represents a bird and not a dragon. She's not enormous either. She's a big bird, yes, but she's not like huge dragon, okay? She's not even baby dragon. I guess it depends on your idea of baby dragon, but she represents the energy of a bird. The colors are orange and red. You're okay, so she's at the top of the tree. And there's a lot of work to do when you get down to the ground. And when you get down to the ground, it is almost like a tidal wave. Because I see the ground is pretty basic. I mean, if we go down to the ground right now, um, it seems like it'd be pretty basic, but, but then we go to the ground and it's like there's this huge energy that just hits us. And then we, we get swept away with this energy. We, just, we don't really know where we're going or why we're going there. And it, it, seems, um, it seems like bad timing, to be honest. Seems like, okay, I'll go to the ground. Whoa! Like, why did I go to the ground right then? Perfect timing to get hit by a wave, and now I don't even know where I am, who I am, what I'm doing. It's like, that just... That was rude. That w that just sucked. Like, screw you, universe, for that one. Like, come on. Why did the divine time have to be just perfectly timed for that event? All right, so then you... Ha you okay, so we have to understand why you are on Earth. We have to understand this first. Because something about understanding this is going to bring peace to you. There's some kind of edge that you need... Because what we're looking for is why you came to Earth. What is the good reason why? Seems like the reason you came to Earth was all these bad reasons why you came to Earth. Like, it's hard to find the celebration and the difficulties. The reason you came to Earth for all these difficulties to get swept away in this, this sort of like tidal wave, I guess. And it's all an energy thing. I mean, I don't see any water. It's just like this energy thing just like tidal waved you swept you off your feet and it's just really hard to know where you are, why you're there, what what are you? <laughs> it's like full of question marks. You haven't really built a relationship with Earth either. What's interesting is I feel that you have built a relationship with Earth, but what is your relationship with Earth right now? And it feels like Earth cannot help you, even if you wanted it to. I feel like you kind of got a sore spot, a um, big sore spot. <sighs> so, all right. You are on Earth time to continue to it's almost like rekindle and amplify your relationship with mother earth and let the spirit of our planet help you and really embrace getting grounded because if there's one obvious thing is you know why on earth am i on earth what, what if we just said well you are on earth and you are alive on earth so let's just cross that off as let's just embrace that you're on Earth right now because you're on Earth right now. <laughs> Earth to planet Earth, you're on Earth right now. <laughs> it's like, hmm. 
I'm having a hard time on Earth. I don't know why do I have to be on Earth having this hard time. So that's the first thing is we're going to own that you are on Earth. And then right now I'm just helping you to feel your feet on the ground and feel the spirit of the Earth as they're supporting you. Because it kind of feels like I don't know, I see a bunch of bananas and then I see you ripped from the bunch of bananas and just tossed out into the midst of the forest for whatever random thing's gonna come next. It's like you're removed from all the bananas, the familiarity and safety of the bunch, and then you're thrown into the midst of the unknown and who knows what's gonna come next, you know? <laughs> it's just a bananas bruise. Like, bananas don't have a, have a lot of longevity. It's gonna be tough for this banana, you know what I mean? So, all right, so you feel vibrationally better there, but let's find out what is your, are you your purpose? But I feel like getting to the third, the third real um, question is there, is there some kind of calling for you? Because we're choosing earth now, obviously you have purpose. And so really we need to fill in the blanks with what what comes with this purpose? Like, are you fulfilling it? Is there more to it? Um, can you fill in the blanks for us, higher self? Yeah, getting you grounded is really important. But now let's get some clarity and some information. Now your higher self says, okay, I... I can't separate you from your higher self. So we're, I gotta, I'm literally like, there's your higher self. Like I had to separate from you, go to your higher self. Okay, so now I'm going to go from your higher self in the scene and I'm going to go back to you. But what we need to do is like take these two scenes. It's like there's the beginning with the scrambled thoughts and all this energy. And then there's this scene, right, with the tree and all that stuff. We got to blend them together so you and your higher self are working together as one. Because it, it seems like you, you feel separated from your higher self because you just, you just don't know where you are in your life path. It seems like you're just lost on your life path, you know? Okay. This isn't easy. Why, why, like, is it meant to just, do you not want it to be easy? Or is it just, it's part of the learning or you're angry at your higher self? Like, what is preventing this oneness from happening? All right, let's just throw it out on the table. It's like, let's just, let's just say you're angry at your higher self for something. We, we're going to have to start filling in some blanks because if I'm going to bring you two closer together, there's going to have to be some conversation. And maybe we don't really know all the answers, so we just got to start with an idea, okay? And I'm serious. Like, this isn't just me doing this for you. Like, you need to come up with some ideas in order to build that relationship with your higher self. So you got to start somewhere. If there's anything that feels um, like a friction between you and your relationship with your higher self, you got to throw it out there. And then you need to talk about it. Because the relationship with your higher self should feel like wholeness. It should feel... Um, it doesn't have to feel like it comes with all the answers, but it feels like love is there for you. Okay, that's what it, it feels like love is there for you, even if it can't tell you what to do all the time, okay? Like it loves you enough to not tell you what to do. You're going through some bitter reflections. I mean, I see you in chains. I see you in chains and um, kind of a space on fire. And you're having to face a kind of massive monster. And it could be uh, the, kind of like your inner demons, you know. You might be facing a big monster, um, some kind of um, aspect of yourself that, you know, gets in the way of you really being free, you know, in love and inner peace and serenity. It just doesn't want you to have that for whatever reason. I, I don't know what it is. It's just a big monster. And... Also feels like memories that possess monsters in them as well. Like 
maybe the memory hurts so bad that the memory is like a monster haunting you, you know, it, it also feels like this. No wonder you're wondering why are you on earth like with this kind of pain that you're dealing with nobody would want to be on this planet if this is what you get like yeah one way ticket to earth ooh i think uh i want to go back the way i came <laughs> one way ticket now i have to face this giant monster and i'm in chains and shackles and it's like <laughs> it's debilitating nightmare and where's my stinking higher self when you need your higher self oh your higher self is there trust me <sighs> your heart's very sensitive. So what I do is I just break the chains for starters. And I feel like you, you, this monster is someone that you, it'll be like a soul that you deeply love. Because you, I feel like you're not chained out of um, force, but out of choice. And then you wanted to blame the monster as though the monster chained you, but you actually loved the monster change yourself and created then an excuse to then be stuck here <laughs> it was really something that'd be hard to admit how could you ever love a monster but isn't that what love is you know when you can love a monster then you you've attained something when it comes to what love is And couldn't you love yourself for that? <laughs> and it seems kind of like your problem is that if you love a monster, then you've chained yourself in hell, basically. And why would you do that to yourself? You love this monster then more than you love yourself. It seems like um, this confusing thing. And maybe life purpose would make everything so much easier then whatever this is about is an emotionally difficult thing. It represents time and memory and maybe shame as well. Okay, so you loving this monster is not going to change this monster, by the way. It could be a person, like a soulmate that ended up... You had all these lifetimes together that were amazing and now you have this lifetime in the present and this soulmate who was once like perfect i guess like dream come true soulmate is now um worst nightmare soulmate because souls change in time so sometimes they're amazing and sometimes they go down other paths and they become different from what we remember them and that doesn't mean you still don't love the soul and you can't stop loving the soul. I feel that like even when I break the chains, um, something that you dislike about yourself is that you still love this soul, this monster. And then you can't set yourself free from hell. So the monster chained you there. Was it your love for this monster that chained you there? It's just is what it is. So what are we going to do? Let's bring your higher self in because you really need some higher guidance on this. You, you hate yourself. Like, you you are angry at yourself over this. Because your love is not enough to help heal the monster. Like, you can't heal this monster. So what do you do? <laughs> You feel defeated because now you're trapped or you're stuck. That's what you're waiting for, a calling that is going to help reconcile this exchange. And maybe you want that sooner than later. I don't know what the divine time is for it, but... You want answers, you have questions, you just want to understand why, you don't know what to do anymore. Like, this is just feels like a big pile of defeat that you can't let go of. I 
Higher self, what do you want to say? Just at least to get you to this. We've we've made quite a lot of progress. There's a lot of different perspectives on this path for your session, okay? So let's see what the last thing is here that your higher self would like to say. Your higher self tells you that even if you wanted this monster to thank you for loving it no matter what, if you couldn't receive that gratitude, like the, the soul is saying thank you. Your higher self says that this soul is thanking you. I mean, I hear it in the pond, like ripples in the pond. I hear the sound of gratitude and it doesn't say thank you. It just sounds like um, a sensation. It's just a sensation. And it comes from the soul. But a lot of that monster's body doesn't... I mean, it's it's on the inside, okay? And it's going to be silent to your ears. It might not even be fulfilling enough, to be honest. Right now you don't know what to do. Higher self says we're going to pick up the banana, put it back with the bunch, and put the bunch back onto the tree. And then the spirit of the banana goes into the tree and into the earth. And I see that your spirit and the spirit of the planet, like you're becoming the size of the planet, but you and, and the planet, your energy are basically um, interconnected in a way that there's just a meditative soul-to-soul -soul level like communication, okay? Because a soul isn't just a small thing. It's the size of a universe. So it can easily be the size of a planet. And your soul needs time not with this monster, but with nature is what your soul needs. And so is that like the everlasting, you know, this here you are on earth. This is your purpose. Bam, done. Or is life this like mysterious adventure that we we just work through it and we get to the next part of the story so embrace earth um, you're working through some deep conflicts at the soul level it feels like memory it feels like soulmate level stuff it feels like you're up against a monster that you have the ability to love that monster more than maybe it's it's it should be loved but that's that's just the power of love right there. And now we're kind of moving you past that so you can feel a connection with nature because that energy is going to help you more than just this monster or these memories. The nature is going to help you. So, yeah. <laughs> Why on earth are you on earth? Because you need earth. You need the spirit of the planet to help you work through these difficult... Um, soul learning you know but it's more than just working through soul learning you're loving souls that might not be worthy of love but that's really powerful kind of love that those souls need whether they can thank you for it as a human being or not <laughs> so we'll work with this for now okay i thank you so much for exploring this session it's pretty vulnerable stuff Thank you for sharing with everybody here and I hope you all have a great day.